I was uh, with the uh, Ten Sports, and I was in Dubai. My husband was stationed in India. I was uh, with the kid. Uh, somehow we managed a year and two. Uh, our son was shuttling between countries, India, Dubai. Every weekend he used to come, and it was just not working out. Uh, though my company was very happy, they wanted uh, me to be in Dubai forever. So career was one part side, and then there was my son. Um, though everything was going smoothly, but somehow I was feeling very guilty whenever my son used to come to Dubai. And the choice between um, making money and being with my son, I think it was just an easy one when I uh, thought I should quit everything. So uh, that's the time when uh, I said, okay, I'll, I'll take a sabbatical and I come back to India. My kid was the happiest whole that time, year to year smile. And uh, the months passed by and um, uh, that's it. It's was just the choice to be with home, career never made. I started investing in some properties in Gurgaon. I had enough saving from my job and that was the time when Gurgaon was started um, you know, doing really well. When I picked up some houses and I do get my rentals. <laughs> I'm also a farmer. I have a piece of land. I do my farming. There was enough that I could manage and I was very independent and I was still looking after my son. co-founder of uh, an academy which is called Your Academy of Music in Gurgaon. It's been, uh, you can say, uh, 19 years of my being in Gurgaon. We take uh, Western vocals, uh, guitar, bass and drums and piano. Classes. Yeah. Classes, yeah. The classes happen and uh, yeah, it's also a community building exercise for all the communities come together. They're encouraged to sing. So we do have a lot of jam yam that we call uh, jam with yam and uh, around Holi, Diwali, uh, New Year's, and when people from various condominiums participate, students participate, helper bhaiyas participate, <laughs> whosoever wants to sing, come forward and be part of Jam with Yam. But for me, the, uh, I get happiness when I see the community sitting together and singing together, and it's just happy, happy time. I, I love when people are happy. <laughs> Imagine there's no heaven It's easy if you try No hell below us Above us only sky Imagine all the people living for today. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Um, used to find my mother as a role model that with the job she was working with uh, that time with Indian Airlines she, with the job she was also looking after us and somehow I felt I want to pass on the same to my son it was uh, then when I started um, uh, you know uh, taking him to mandirs and wherever possible so that he has the humanity part in him and something that had nurtured me as a person and I wanted to teach him the values so that he has a similar amount of uh, you know uh, compassion for others is the time when we, I started uh, going to different places and buses with my kid and many of my friends started joining me uh, while we were doing all this and that's when uh, Pure Hearts as a family uh, came together that we help someone selflessly use our strengths and make our own life meaningful and in the process also pass on values to our children. Uh, three bastis were seen that they were in distress. We realized that they need education because parents will not be sending them to uh, 
school they have small babies to look after so this size of the child is holding a baby half the half her own size half his well mostly girls are taking care of the siblings and uh, so we opened uh, hamara gurukul it's called hamara school but since we are not a school we named it hamara gurukul and everywhere wherever we find distress in a basti and kids don't know what to do we our uh, teachers are hired and we have a chatai pen books coming and the children are made to study and uh, now we have 450 kids chota chota kaatna aur aise ball banana aise aise karke aur apne apne plate se baantna and then ha sabko aayega aur sab roll bana ke usi plate mein dalenge ha roshni aap sab good morning sir good morning sir good morning sir ho gaya Purehearts for me is a feeling. It's um, not an organization. It is just a pure feeling of being for someone else, uh, selflessly. Maybe that's why the the name came Purehearts. And it was not me who kept this name. It was kept by the children. And it's just a magical journey for all of us. We love it all completely. Your hearts I started off and I went to these orphanages with Shalu Aunty and that was an amazing experience talking with the kids and being there being present so I wanted to um help out in one of these centers and engaging with the kids the entire experience was awesome and I really enjoyed it so that motivated me to work further with so, in fact 2014 October Diwali time is the time when uh, gifts of happiness uh pure heart started uh, reaching out to lives and then the journey never stopped the kids wanted to achieve more and more because uh, we could see that inner calling in them that they were happy to see others happy as well There were five kids who had uh, cancer. So the children did a performance. The children, for the first time, raised two lakhs, uh, two lakhs rupees. And uh, school started tying up with us. The administration started tying up with us. Uh, they were whenever we used to see any problem, we used to just jump in. And uh, the family grew bigger and bigger. And it's been, you can say, um, eight years uh, or maybe six six years uh, to the whole thing that. Uh, uh we are able to look after the orphanages in gurgaon the visually impaired children uh, who are there children who are different uh, autism awareness campaigns are very big in gurgaon cyber so hub partners with us and 2 uh, to 3000 uh, people watch the performance everyone comes together to help these lives in whatever way they can their uh, they can have their strengths going <laughs> whenever there is a kid has a thought whether to look after the environment or a senior care or whatever they this we have a whatsapp group the child discusses the feel on the group and the whole family starts following that child and that thought uh, so uh, like autism uh, there were few kids who were teased in the bus and uh, they were autistic so that's when the school the children said that we want to do awareness on autism we want to help them get accepted loved and uh, included in the society is the time uh, 2016 or 7 17 we started awareness campaigns in gurgaon if every april uh, is the month of autism awareness is when the whole gurgaon the schools participate the kids who are autistic differently able visually they come and perform our bands uh, where i'm part of uh, your academy of music subir malik all the artists come kathak dancers all uh, all the people with their different strengths and skills they come together so it becomes an amalgamation of a whole field and we uh, raise awareness on that cause so it could be environment it could be um, autism it could be like visually impaired uh, the children we realize that the children can't see a movie 
they they feel hear a movie so is the time when we uh, uh, tied up with narendra joshi ji who is radio mirchi uh, you know voice over he's a voice over artist and he dubbed the movie of shole uh, with his voice and uh, like and there were voice overs uh, and uh, the children could feel the movie abiru khada ho raha hai abiru ja raha hai so the kids could hear from here and laugh and uh, we raise uh, a lakh and we could uh, show movie at carnival to 1200 visually impaired children all watch shole and every year we uh, all clean our wardrobes our our kids clothes have outgrown they are a waste to us we are looking for places to distribute so the entire gurgaon reaches out to pure hearts that they have uh, since we work with police forces they tell us which are the bastis which are the most in distress is that and the police forces give us the staff and we go with the with the vans and we distribute in a very methodical manner there's no snatching or anything it's proper there's a queue in whatever way the administration can help you they'll try and help you environmental causes if you want some support from the councilor he'll be there to look after even basti schools if you want uh, a particular shed to be made and they will give you that time to and allow you and support you yes they're very positive we are doing uh, Uh, a lot of work on menstrual cups because we do feel for the cause for the country so that is sustainable menstruation um uh, so when we found out and we going into bastis and villages the condominium ladies are not able to switch to a menstrual cup because they fear it's a foreign body coming in them but the didis and bastis have done it and they have nailed it they are the ones who are the ones who are actually wanting to be out and do their bit when they get to know that this will save money okay fine saving money is the driving force because you save 80 rupees a month and that money is a hard earned money for them where the money like food is a problem and the basic needs so for them the driving force was saving money but when they got to know that it's also gonna plastic hair if i be wearing a sanitary napkin i'm i'm contributing 12 in a month and it multiplies throughout the menstrual cycle so i will say those females have more progressive in their heads but they don't have the vent they don't have the vent Uh, when isha foundation reached out to us that there is a a global uh, soil movement happening so isha we since have been taking lot of environmental issues a uh, uh, lot of nukkar natakes in the past have happened uh, so that we reduce reuse uh, recycle plastic um, uh, we've been doing plantation drives in whatever way we can help the community or help our, our uh, mother earth we've been part of various causes children have been performing for many years and um, you know we just feel that we going to should leave a good a future for them a safe healthy happy future and uh, we could i could relate to it because i have my own uh, land and there i can see how uh, where i used to have strawberries growing the yield is uh, it's going down and somewhere the soil is uh, degrading <laughs> and last time pure heart held uh, was part of their rally for rivers we were very happy when the kids raised their voice in gurgaon and uh, the rivers are now clean there's a policy after few years so we do feel when you uh, start talking about it things the change happens so now we are at soil because we realize what orange used to do many years back but one orange kya aapko nahi pata kisi ko bhi nahi pata aaj se 50 saal pehle jitna vitamin c ek santra mein tha आज आठ संतरे में है इसलिए हम सबको पोषण ही नहीं मिलता और हमको विटामिन सी की गोलियां खाने पड़ते हैं सर इसलिए क्योंकि हमारी मिट्टी में जो न्यूट्रिएंट्स और ऑर्गेनिक मैटर है वे धीरे धीरे खत्म हो रहा है इसकी वजह से पेड़ पौधों को पोषण नहीं मिलता और हमारी मिट्टी विलुप्त यानी एक्सटिंक्ट हो रही है और नाइन्थ वी गोना बी स्टार्टिंग ऑफ विद दीज कैंपेन्स दैट फ्रॉम मार्केट टू मार्केट बस्ती टू बस्ती that safe soil farmers uh, associations uh, we will be getting touch with farmers we will be holding our workshops so that they are able to replenish their soil uh, we will be tying up with kendriya kendriya sanic 
विज्ञान केंद्र एंड दे विल बी टीचिंग द फार्मर्स हाउ टू यू नो द पायराइड जिप्सम वट एवर द सॉइल नीड्स वेर द कम्पोस्टिंग सो देर मेनी एनवायरमेंटलिस्ट इन गुरुग्राम देर आर मेनी समीरा सतीजा हु इज़ अ वेरी रिनाउंड एनवायरमेंटलिस्ट शी विल बी कमिंग टीचिंग हाउ टू डू गार्डन कम्पोस्टिंग सो इट्स म्यूजिक थ्रू डांस Uh, through the drama, the Nukkar Natak with the Pure Heart Children, the Basti kids will be talking about soil, beej, how our body is part of soil only, in a way, uh, will be coming together and doing the needful. I have not been able to find any day which is gone not knowing what to do with my life. There are females, you will find like-minded crowd, women entrepreneurs. If I look at where I stay in Nirvana, uh, there are so, so many entrepreneurs uh, and all resonate the same. They want to do something for the community. So it's a, it's a huge family. Everyone knows everyone. <laughs> in a way, I'll say the Gurgaon is just spread out. It may look, but they're all together. आई से डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस इवन इफ इट्स देर इन अ वेरी सटल वे द वमेन आर अवेयर ऑफ देर राइट्स दे डू वॉइस इट दे डू टॉक इट अराउंड एंड देर सम हाउ देर इज अस मोड ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन विच इज एस्टेब्लिश बिटवीन यू नो हजबेंड एंड अ वाइफ एंड दे ट्राई एंड आई एन इट आउट सो वेन इट कम्स टू किड्स द पेरेंट्स आर मेच्योर अराफ uh because they all come with uh, the right education and the right mindset that even if there are differences they are able to uh, manage but not let the kids become part of it gone are the days when there used to be domestic violence in the condominiums yes we do see a lot in pastis and villages and uh, it's still the same in gurgaon there is a community in pastis like villages if you go to faruknagar you go to dalatabad mubarakpur there there is a, there are two parts of gurgaon so one is a corporate crowd and the other is the other community which is still trying they are still in those ghungats do you feel safe in gurgaon uh, i feel absolutely safe in gurgaon but yes when there are uh, like i have this uh, land case which is going on and there is a different start of people i'm meeting there are no women in them there are only different kind of uh, uh, the vani dhotis and white dhotis and kurtas very tall uh, uh, different kind of set of people yes i do feel unsafe then that's the time uh, you know a friend of mine who runs a hospitality and has a hospital business he gives me his security guards so i'm i'm actually i visit uh, my farm then with uh, security officers so what what scares you about meeting these different people from like a different lower strata or you know because i feel that when uh, i look at them their wives are not allowed to come outside without their ghungats Uh, even when there was a sale and purchase of land going on i see uh, the person who owned the land was a lady and her husband just got her in the car she was just inside the vehicle she was not allowed to step out without a ghungat and that's when she signed the papers and she went back home she was not allowed to even come outside when there were other men standing at the tehsil office i realize that gives gives me happiness maybe there's some inner feeling which really feels good each time i see someone else happy i feel i have these many hours in a day which are a waste if i have coffee chai throughout the day so i try and do justice to my own life and i think the same spirit now is adding up in other people and we are able to reflect on our life needs all our skills there are many lives who need this time from us and we have the strength but we are not using it so we all if can why not come and do a bit and help the ones who need this time and who need our life so maybe i think that's what brings us together <laughs>